so let's start with the project so what we'll do is first we'll create two control flows here the first control flow will basically uh, you know help us to read the small text file and change it to the upper cases and write it to the capital text file and the next control flow will basically help us to load the capital text file and load it into the uh, SQL server table so here's our SQL tables SQL server table in which we are going to load the capital text file so let's go and first create two control flows here so let me just drag and drop two control flows here and the first control flow I'll say read from small text file and write it to a upper text file okay simple right so that's the first control flow and the second control flow basically you know will load from upper text file into database tables right and both of these control flows will start one after another so in other words first the first control flow will read the text file and change it to upper text file and the next control flow will read the upper text file and log it to the SQL server table so now that we have both the control flows so let's go to the control the first control flow that is read from small text file and write it to a capital text file and let's go and define the data flows for this control flow so double click on it now the time you double click on it you will be sent to a different tab box altogether you can see from the control flow we have actually gone, gone to the data flow tab now the data flow is nothing but it's a subset of control flow and it's it's a place you know where the actual ETL process happens so the actual extraction transformation and loading is written in the data flow so you have control flows and inside control flows you have data flows doing the transformation and loading and you can see the toolbox of the data flow so when you are actually on the on the data flow tab right you can see that the toolbox and essentially represents your ETL process so the first tab actually represents you know the source from where you want to do the extraction right the data flow sources the second tab represents the transformation so the logic or you know the the components you know which will help you to transform data for data data from one format to other format and the final one is again basically loading you know so so basically the the data flow destination tab will help you to load your data from uh, you know uh, load your data to a destination data source like SQL server or Excel or whatever it is so the first tab is basically extraction the second tab is basically transformation and the third tab is basically loading into the destination data source so let's go to the first tab the first step is basically we have to read the file the text file so let's pull up a flat file source here and let's edit this component and let's say new and we'll say small text file right so this component will help us to read small text file small text file reading and let's browse to the text file which is at this moment on my desktop here so with the name called a small txt and uh, if you remember you know the text file basically the first column was uh, the name it was the column name actually so let us go and say that the first the first column is a column name and let's preview this and look everything looks fine so let's do okay and okay so we have done the extraction that means we have loaded the text file the small text file into the flat file so flat file source object now the second thing is you know we have to actually take this data and basically change it to a uppercase so let's go to data flow transformation and uh, let's take up drive column so what we'll do is we'll create a new column out of the or out of the name column saying capital name column or something okay so let's connect this flat file source to the derived column and let's right click on the derived column and let's say let's give a nice name to this uh, capital column okay capital name and we'll say yes add it as a new column and let's take up the string function for making this uppercase so there's uppercase function let's take the name variable name input which has come from the text file and let's say okay so the flat file source is loaded right extracted the derived column component or the derived column object will help us to load or help us to uh, you know 
change the data into upper text and the final one is that we would like to basically create a new text file out of this called as the upper text file so let's log the upper text the upper name or the capital name derived column to the flat file destination so let's do an edit it's like a delimited upper text file okay browse, browse. So there is the upper text, upper text, capital, okay, let's make it capital, okay. It's not upper text, it is capital, I'm sorry. And if you look at, if you look at the capital text file, it has nothing at this moment. So there's nothing over here. And uh, let's say, okay. Now, what we would like is the capital text file, you know, uh, should have, you know, we would like to log the capital text file with only uppercase. So what I've done is from the available inputs, I've taken the capital name, the derived column, which we just created because this derived column has uh, everything in the upper text and I'm just linking this derived column to my destination uh, column, a capital name. So let me say, okay. So, so we are done with the first control flow. And in this control flow, what we have done is we have basically read the file, flat file source. That is the, uh, that is small.txt. We have created a new derived column which is which is in the upper case and finally we have taken the derived column and created a new text file with 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 the data all in upper text now let's go to the next control flow that is loading the upper text file into database right so the first control flow has been created okay that means the creation of the upper text file is is, is done by this control flow now in the second control flow we would like to read that upper text file and dump it dump it to our table that is cap name table okay so let's again go back to our toolbox so let's go and read the capital text file so let's drag and drop the flat file source let's give a nice name to this cap file connection and let's browse the capital text file and let's do okay so this first connection has read the capital text file which has been created from the first control flow that is from this control flow right now let's take up OLEDB and dump this flat file this capital flat file into the database so let's go to a database let's select the cap name table we would like to load this data into the cap name table here and let's specify the mappings so let's save this so the first control flow will help, will read the small text file apply the transformation and basically change it to upper text file called as capital.txt the second flow will basically read the capital text file and dump it to database okay so let's go and run this we have at this moment in the small text file we have one two three four five six rows in capital text file we have nothing other than the headers and in database also we have nothing so let's execute this so there goes the execution six rows gone here and six rows also dumped here so let's refresh our files so let me go and see my capital text file you can see that if all the records have been you know converted to the to the capital text and if you go to sql server all the capital values from the upper.txt or the sorry the capital.txt has been dumped into a SQL server so this was a small sample you know which uh, which will help you to understand uh, you know how the whole SSIS process actually looks like okay so I hope that you enjoyed this video in the coming up video what we'll do is that we'll do more such complicated examples so that we can get a better hold of uh, the control flow data flow and other toolbox items over there so do stick to this tutorial and in the coming up tutorials we'll We'll, we'll try to understand more about SSIS by doing more such complicated examples and complicated practicals. Thank you very much.